Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So we're going to talk about our starter kits. Now, those of us with a little more experience, don't hang up. We've got a great point here for us as well. But if you want to get into leathercraft, oddly enough, I've always guided people away from kits. Now, in my defense, it's because kits can typically be full of fluff. We've got cheap tools we're not going to use and projects we are not interested in. If someone wants to start making holsters, I want to guide them in that direction. So their hard-earned dollar is going to tools that they are going to use from here on out. Well now, after joining Weaver, I've had to change this because I was honored to be asked to help make these kits, design these kits. No fluff. In fact, with these kits, every liquid, every tool, these are things we're going to use on every project from here on out. Now, for those of us with a little more experience, have we been lucky enough to have someone ask us about getting into leathercraft? That's a good day. Well, our eyes light up and we're on it. We are going to help. We're leathercrafters. So we can make a list of everything they need. And as leathercrafters, we're going we're gonna to drop in commentary on everything. Well, the downside to this is that the newer folks, that immediately looks complicated and expensive. Actually, it's neither. So, as someone with a little more experience, if we have someone ask, send them towards Weaver and know that they've got a good kit, quality products, and they are spending their money on the tools that they are going to use from here on out. Okay, so that's enough talk. Let's look at our three kits. Let's see what's in these. Let's start with our beginner kit because this is the perfect place to get started. I've got two sets of tools here. Right here, this is what actually comes in the kit. This, well, these are tools that came right off of my work table. Did not even have to look for these. The point is, we're going to use every one of these tools on our projects. Now, let's step into this. Hand sewing. If you're wanting to get into leathercraft or you're new at it, our first thought on hand sewing, difficult and tedious. Quite the opposite. In fact, that was sewn in about 15 minutes. The big point there, we do not have to have a sewing machine to sew leather. And in my opinion, that looks better than a machine stitch. Our needles, John James number 18, well there's, there's my stash, I certainly use those. So again, everything here, it's a perfect start for us. Okay, let's step up to our next kit. This is our Leather Crafting Tool Kit 2.0. Now we've got everything we need. We've got everything from the smaller kit, but now we've got the addition of our poly board. This is great for cutting, but we definitely want to use this when we're using our chisels or any punches. We've got a poly mallet. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. We've got an edger. That's going to work nicely for our edge work. And there's the bigger pack of the John James needles. That's a great needle. In fact, in eight years, I've broken one. Again, a good quality product. Now, we talk about quality. Okay, let's do this. Right here, I bought this poly mallet in the 90s, still using it. That's going to last and last. But right here, our square... Well, obviously, I've given that a little bit of use. So when I say we've got products here that we're going to use from here on out, I absolutely mean it. Okay, next up, one more kit. Let's take a look at this one. Let's finish out with our dye kit because if we want to start dyeing leather, this is the best way to go. No fluff here at all and all quality. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, big point for the new folks. Dying leather, it does not have to be messy, expensive, or time-consuming, and we can get a beautiful outcome every time. Now, you can tell they asked for my opinion when we were putting this kit together, because I don't use anything but the Pro Dye. Funny thing, the light brown and the mahogany, if we mix those two together, 50-50, one-to-one, that's my favorite dye color. We've got a top coat. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is going to seal the leather, but it's also going to give it some pop. Right, right there, that's our red Pro Dye. We don't have it in the kit, but we have it available. But when we dye it, it's going to be a little bit flat. Looks good, but it's flat. Now we add our top coat, all the difference in the world, easy to apply, and our antique. I use this on almost every project. Technically, the job for an antique is to sink into the natural blemishes and range marks on a piece of leather, making it look used and loved, or antique. But when we stamp, when we tool, that's going to sink down into those impressions, make them stand out. And there is a way to add all kinds of colors of antique. Last up right here, 
our sponges and our daubers are dressing sponge. In fact, I just noticed that. There's my sponges, there's my daubers. So those are things we're actually going to use. I tend to cut this down to make it go a little bit further. Now there's one thing in the kit we don't have, and I would say buy this in addition to this kit. Let's just get some good gloves, because we're made out of leather too. We're going to take a beautiful light brown, and it's going to be there for a couple of days. I think we've got the best kits going. No fluff, and we've got quality tools that are useful. We're not paying for things that we're not going to use or are not interested in. Now, one more point. For the new folks or those of us that want to jump into Leathercraft, earlier I mentioned, in one hour, I cannot tell you how much enjoyment you're going to get out of this craft. Well, in that same hour, I cannot tell you how many project possibilities there are out there. I don't think anybody knows that. But how about a quick, easy example? So I'm dressed like I would be at any trade show, any leather show. I work in a leather shop, but I wouldn't consider myself covered in leather with a hat and vest and whatnot. But actually, let's see how many leather products I've actually got on. Four, five, six, or a whole lot more. Let's see. I actually feel like I'm going through the airport. So let's start right here. Pair of leather boots? Absolutely. How about we make a cool bootstrap? So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. My wallet is eight. Card wallet is nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, that's an unlucky number. Well, right here, I've got four strand braid keychains on both sides of my briefcase. How about we call this an even 15? To get to even a third of that number, we have to count some of this, not as a pair, but, but separately. But nonetheless, I hope it's a good point. But also, another point pops up. Now that all my leather is over here, there's nothing holding all this together. Without my leather, I am literally falling apart. But if you're new to the craft or you want to jump in, you are going to have a blast with it. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.